no makeup like literally nothing and it feels like a mini wedding day because we are shooting a really exciting campaign with Bellagio today so they are gonna jewel me up today and it feels like a little mini wedding day because I got to choose the venue I got to choose dresses and everything and I decided to do it at our actual wedding venue so I'm excited I'm gonna drive there now I'm literally like around the corner so I will see you there and then we can get ready and do hair and makeup and everything like that oh my goodness but I have such a busy day ahead of me so starting it on like a good note just oh, the best another busy day we literally we were on set for probably like just over 10 hours with Bellagio and I'm so excited to share more content with you obviously I have to like wait for everything to be edited and all of that but it was just such it was kind of like a mini wedding day obviously without brain and I think if um we weren't getting married soon he would obviously be part of the shoot like with the Breitschitz cover but that was obviously shot like over a year ago so it was far from our wedding but as we're like leading up to the wedding obviously even <laughs> when I showed him the um the video that I posted I showed him this um video 
Where is it? Um, this one. When I showed this to him, he was like, Nia! Nia! I can't see! He was like watching with one eye. <laughs> so funny he's like no i can't see you yet um but i'm so excited like things are just i booked a couple of facials with aesthetics on fifth so i'm gonna do a facial every two to three weeks like leading up to the wedding i'm so excited so we just did like a fire and ice facial and i look like a mess but i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna get ready i have a meeting in an hour and 15 minutes and then i have another meeting after that and then i have um some content to get up today and what else do i have to do i have to film some content so yeah i'm just gonna bring you along for today a little bit of wedding a little bit of life a little bit of everything in one vlog <laughs> run a little bit over but you can't really be in two places at once so I had meetings and then I obviously wanted to like film in between but because all of my meetings ran over I couldn't really do that and the meetings were really interactive so like putting on the camera and like talking like sometimes I'll, ha I'll be in a meeting and I just turn my camera off and then I just like get ready for the day or I'll like try and like edit because it's just like a general conversation and some people may like you can we're women like we can do multiple things at once um but this was a bit more of an interactive i think you saw the meeting that i had with the dyson i think it was ukraine dubai and then the south african team and then tamron green and abigail for he was also in the meeting which i'm really excited to work with them but we had like a full-on training session on the Dyson Airwrap Complete and let me just say like my prayers have been answered. I've been wanting to work with Dyson for a while now. I have their vacuum. I'm looking at this air purifier fan thingy and I've had the Dyson Airwrap Complete for two years now and I am going to say that... At first, I didn't really like know what the product was intended for and in order for me to like completely fall in love with her, I had to give her time, I had to get to know her, I had to just know what she's intended for. Obviously, it's not a high heat product, so I feel like my expectations were... When you see these videos on Instagram, like you see people with different hair, they use different products and they obviously have different thicknesses, the humidity is different in different countries and you always like see a picture on Instagram or like TikTok or whatever and then obviously like it doesn't come out the exact same way and then you're disappointed. But I just put my time and effort into just getting to know this product and I'm so glad that I did because I really really fell in love with it and my hair also did like my hair has never felt so healthy and I washed it last night I used like the last bit of Kerastase that I had left and this came this morning like how perfect so I wanted to do an unboxing with this a little bit later with you as well as the Dyson but I wanted to film this so like film it and unbox it at the same time so that I don't have to do it twice. So I have my Kerastase stocked up again and I'm so excited to try out the new Dyson era. It has a few different attachments and like slight upgrades within like the whole set or the whole kit. So I thought we could unbox it together. I want to film a couple of pieces of content as well. But, but, but before I can do that, I obviously have to get ready and do my hair. I already did my makeup. So, yeah, I think let's unbox her quickly. So, it comes in 
this little travel case. So this is my old one and then this is the new Airwrap Complete. They differ slightly. This one has like a little bit of a opening like that and then this one comes off completely. And then this is the layout on the inside. So let's do a little bit of a comparison since I have the old era. Please just excuse the hair and dust on it. I obviously have been using it for two years and I really need to deep clean it. So we're going to do like a little bit of a comparison starting with the body. They're obviously different in color. So the old Airwrap um, is grey with pink accents and I believe it only came in one standard colour. Whereas the new Airwrap you can find it in three different colourways. I love the bronze one. Oh it is just so stunning. But so is the pink and blue. I think it's very classic to the Dyson brand obviously. In terms of the buttons, um, I don't really see a difference. It has the power obviously up and then the cool shot. Well, your power and then the cool shot button three levels of heat three levels of power so that's pretty similar and then the main difference within the old and the new era is the blow dry attachment the new one has a two-in-one uh, blow dry technology that focuses the hair to be dried sleek and down and then if you have finished with your styling using either the straight brush or the air wrap or the round brush you can use the finishing flyaways where you literally like you blow dry it like this and it blows the flyaways down so that they're not standing up but i am gonna say i really didn't find any fault in the blow dry attachment with the old air wrap i feel like it still blow dried my hair pretty sleek and nice and silky so i still love the old blow dry attachment within the Dyson Airwrap and then for the round brush it differs slightly as well please excuse the hair the new one has a bit of a plating going on underneath the bristles whereas this one I don't know it doesn't feel that the this one has a bit more of a plating which I think will help seal and lock in the style so that's the difference with the round brush attachment and then obviously the air wrap is a big difference and a big upgrade with the old air wrap. I don't know where the fourth attachment is. I think it's like underneath here. Yeah. So with the old air wrap, you had four barrels. <laughs> you had two barrels going in different directions for a bigger curl and for a smaller curl, tighter curl. Whereas the new upgrade has one for each, but it has this new like direction switch. So if you want the calls to go this way, you switch it this way. If you want the calls to go the other way, you just simply twist it. Comes in a big barrel and a small barrel as well. My old air wrap was specifically for long hair, so that's why this one is a little bit shorter. So this is for shorter hair this is for longer hair but i'm pretty sure it won't make that big of a difference i will let you know when i use it just now and then we have two straightening brushes the one with the pink bristles are intended for like finer thinner hair and then the one just with the silver more silicone flexible bristles so they're both quite flexible this one just has the pink little buttons on it and then this one has the thicker little bristles both of them move like that as you brush your hair kind of takes away a bit of the friction and a bit of the pull but the difference with the old and the new era is the old one has this middle part that just stays put, do you see? But this one moves completely. So that's the difference. Same with the attachment for thicker, curlier hair. I'm so sorry for the hair. This one has the immovable part in the middle. 
and the new one moves quickly. So I'm excited to test this out. I'm going to dampen my hair a little bit more and then we can try her out. like a little gold stand and it says Kerastase on it. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom and then we got a little scrunchie and then I got a couple of the Blonde Absolute products. I've been wanting to try a few more products in this range because I actually tried out the Blonde Absolute um, with one of their like leave-in serums like the overnight serum and I fell in love with it. I I don't think there's a Kerastars range that I don't like, but I like to just taste them all out. I recently used the black one, which is the Chronologista, um, but I'm excited to switch over to this one now, especially leading up to the wedding. I'm color treating and highlighting my hair a lot more before the wedding than I would usually, so really, really excited to try this out. We have the shampoo. This is the... Bane, is this a conditioner? Mm, fondant, yes, it's a conditioner. And then this is like a blow dry cream, I believe, a serum. And then this is actually, I think, the product that I have. Just want to check. Oh no, it's a different product. Ooh. So this is an overnight recovery serum. So you put this in your hair and then you sleep with it. You don't rinse it out. So I'm really excited to try this tonight. I'll show you the one um, that I have. I'm going to go put these things in the bathroom. So this is the one I have. It's just like an evening. Well, you can put it in any time of day. But it's just like oil, um, like a dry oil. I absolutely love it. So I have it in the Blonde Absolute. And then I also have it in the elixir or team range i also really love this gold range so i'm gonna pack this away because for my next piece of content I wanted a little bit more of a casual lived in kind of vibe and if I brush them out they'll kind of look like a blowout and I feel like that's exactly what Dyson is all about the at home salon blowout giving your hair like a healthy shine and just that beautiful flick and wave if I want a bit more of a curl I'll push the air wrap a little bit further to the root so that the curl can distribute through the length of the hair and then I'll pin it up into a little pin curl and then I'll hairspray let it sit for a little bit the longer you let it sit the longer it will last but if you just want like a really easy blowout really just voluminous and healthy looking the Dyson Airwrap is your best friend. I love that in the training, there was no right or wrong way to use it. It was so refreshing that you can literally use the product however you want it. And the different ways you use it will give you different results. And it's all about just playing with it, getting to know it, and learning what works for you. And today this is what works for me just a beautiful healthy blowout and i think it's gonna go so well with the two different looks that i'm doing for my next piece of content with layers so i've worked with them before and it was for the flavors of the world campaign it was the french bollock bollock french garlic baguette flavor and the portuguese peri peri prawns so for the paris france one it was pretty easy a beret a tweed coat and then the blue and the red and then for the portuguese peri peri 
the package was kind of like brown red and orange so i just did an outfit around that and i did very lifestyle focus it was like you're hosting so i want to do the same style but just push it a little bit further so i saw a piece of chicken skewer in the shops and i just had to get it i literally just got it as a piece of prop for this campaign and then i have ginger i have soy sauce and i have radon so i'm going to do this one first and then the second one is the brazilian spicy salsa this is japanese yakitori chicken flavor by the way it's so good this is the second time i'm buying these chips for this campaign because the first time we ate it before I could even film it so i was like we're not touching this until i film my content i'm excited to open it up and like have a couple of chips this is the spicy salsa and i got like the chilies on the packet and then i got some onions and then some tomatoes so let's get filming before the sun goes away and then i'm gonna film my magnum content kind of like when it's dark vlogged in here at night time it feels so weird but i wanted to just quickly take a shower i wanted to put my hair up and show you how i put my hair up so i just do a little bit of the brushing in between and then i twist it in the direction of like the wave so that my hair looks nice the next day and i want it to look nice tomorrow because we are actually going for a tasting with our so I just clip it like loosely not tight at all otherwise it'll make like kinks so I just do it loosely and then before I shower I'll put my silk cap on just to keep my hair away from any moisture but yeah we're going for a tasting at our wedding venue tomorrow and I wanted to like start a new vlog and wrap up this vlog and just bring you along for it of course so in this vlog i obviously shared a little bit of a sneak peek into our venue i actually vlogged our viewing months ago it was the first in-person viewing that we did and it was the last and we just fell in love with ball and blossom and we're so excited to get married there and this whole bellagio campaign and the way it's unfolding the fact that i'm a 2023 bride the fact that i have full reign with this campaign they sound me as their 2023 diamond girl diamonds oh my goodness i'm so excited and i got to pick the way i want my hair and the dresses i obviously went with bride and co because that's what i'm wearing on the wedding and i got to pick every single dress and i'm so excited to see the content and the photos and the videos from this shoot but obviously when you have like 12 10 to 12 hour shoot days and you have full days of meetings you get a little bit behind with your work so the fact that it was a long weekend was just oh, i could catch up on work a little bit and we had no load shading i was like what do i do with all of this electricity let me film ladies let me film magnum Kara stars i was just like going crazy <laughs> so i have so much to edit but i think i'm gonna hop into the shower and finish the editing in bed i hope you ladies enjoyed this vlog i am so excited to see you in the next one and all of the wedding related vlogs to follow i hope you are well hope you had a beautiful long weekend let me know what you got up to and then i will see you again very very soon mm.